Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going back to clean girl makeup and we are doing something a little bit different. First of all, do you guys like the new background or no? I know the voice may sound a little different. I actually forgot to charge my microphone. That is a problem that creators sometimes encounter and I'm really really sorry about that. I hope it doesn't bother you too much. That will be fixed on the next video. So we are starting with a little bit of clean face, I would say. I already prepped my skin with my La roche -Posay Triple Repair Cream. This is my favorite cream that I always use in every video. And also I've used my CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. This has SPF in it, which I love. And I have not prepped with primer yet. I will be doing that because I have a new one to try. Got one by Estee Lauder. This is a very cool thing. It is a new drop, so I'm very excited to give it a try. Let's see how that works. And I think it will be really nice for this makeup in specifics. I have my LED mirror here. This is a little bit of a different setting. This is actually my studio where I film my model gigs. I have like a whole on... Let me actually film that for you. I have a full-on studio on here. I have all the professional lighting. This is us. And I have, and I have backdrop, different backdrops here for my videos have this beautiful view looking outside and of course you are the beautiful view as well I love this room, I use it a lot more what do you think about this type of thing? I feel like it's really good today again I'm not really sure what's going on at work but every time I sit down to film a video it's gloomy and it's raining New York, can you wake up? It's May, I need some sun, I'm getting depressed. This is not good. <laughs> I'm sure if you are a New York person, you know what I'm talking about. It's literally cold and it's May. Like, it, the June, June is coming, it's mid-May. Like, June is coming very soon. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, let's get back to the video. I have my hair in a bun. I do like my hair in a bun a lot of times. Sometimes I don't like it in a bun, I just feel and look bold, but for the clean girl aesthetic, to make it perfect, I love my hair in a bun. My hair is out of my face and we're ready for this look. I have did my eyebrows, I kind of brushed them up, did a soap brow technique, let's say, and I filled them in with my soft brown by brow coat. This is a pomade that I usually use. You've probably seen it in my previous videos as well. I've curled my eyelashes and prepped my skin with skincare and that's pretty much it. So let's start with Estee Lauder. I probably pronounced it really really wrong and I'm really sorry about that. The best. So I'm gonna put some on my hand right here. Hmm, nice, it's white. It should smooth and blow, blur out pores. So let's see how that works. Immediately, it's that consistency where I actually think it's going to work. Okay. Yeah, it definitely works. It blurs out the skin, but it does have like a little bit of a white cast, which I'm not a fan of. I'm not, I don't know. Let me just try and let's see how it works underneath the makeup. I'm gonna put it especially on the zone where I mostly have my pores and uh, my skin is very porous if you look up close and personal but yeah, it is very porous I have really large pores trying to see what works best for my skin but nothing really actually helps to minimize them in makeup you still visualize them a little bit cameras like this do work I wanted to give it a try, but it does definitely give that blurred effect. You could definitely see that on my forehead. It is giving it a very blurry effect. It's cool, like I don't mind it. Okay, that is mixed in. I'm actually going to use their new foundation as well. This is Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I adore their aging. It's just so beautiful. I saw that they have a pump for this foundation and I was too biased, but then I was like, maybe I could just use my hand. As you can see, I have previously used it and I actually really like it. So I'm gonna pour it a little bit. Yeah, maybe I'm going to think about getting the pump because I put too much sometimes. And I'm gonna add it in with my fingers just a little by little. But I don't when it comes to clean girl makeup, I try to be very minimalistic and go very light on my base foundation and like concealer. 
but sometimes when you are breaking out, you do need to cover it. Well, you don't. So I try to cover it as much as possible to give that skin-like aesthetic, like there's nothing on there, there's just clean skin, if you know what I mean. And this foundation works really well because it actually gives like a nice glow, but also mattifies the face, which does not look like it's not skin, you know what I mean? So it's like a nice thin layer, just nice, like, so it is like a nice thin layer, which actually feels like skin. And that's what I strive to do when I do clean girl makeup. I'm gonna blend it all out with a beauty blender like I always do at the end. Just to make sure that there are no rough like, creases I would see from my fingers. And I'm just going to blend it all out. Whenever I do clean girl makeup and I want to look like a clean girl, I always put my hair in a bun, wear something like tight or baggy, whatever I feel like that day. But today is like this nice crop top. I would wear big pants and also gold jewelry. Are you a gold jewelry girl or are you a silver girl? Because I actually like both. I have jewelry from both different materials, but I actually like and prefer gold right now, like at this moment, like I'm in my gold era. I'm going to bring it down to my neck just to make sure that all is very, very consistent in one color. I love how nice and thin this base is. It gives me a nice coverage so nothing, um, gives me a nice coverage so none of my acne is actually showing, like it's not really visible. But it also looks like skin. I'm actually obsessed. Like I, I fell in love ever since I tried this foundation. I honestly think you should give it a try because this is definitely a nice find. Okay, the foundation is set. I do think I need to conceal a little bit of my under eyes. And as you can see here, I have a little bit of a dark circle. And maybe clean up my acne as well, just to make sure that everything looks nice and settled. Then we'll move on to the blush. Oh, my favorite part. I love blush so much. Okay, so now let's go with the concealer. I will be using my favorite one by Armani. This is a Luminous Silk Concealer by shade 3. I usually use this one in the winter slash summer when I'm not so tan and I'm not tan. If I am tan, I usually go for like 5, 6. So a little bit more bronzy and more melanin in my skin. Usually I just apply it right here and over here. This is a method Kendall Jenner used to use previously. This just previously, just to highlight those nice areas um, of the face. So just like that, I feel like I will highlight the best parts of the face and blend it in. I usually don't go really ham or I do go ham on my concealer. I try to keep keep it down, try to keep it down. So I'm gonna take a flat, flat foundation brush and just dab it into my foundation, making sure that all is blended. When it comes to a concealer, I like to use a brush instead of a beauty blender, just to make sure that it gives me more of like that airbrushed look. Immediately just look how much more lifted my face is. And when it comes to clean girl makeup, I love to have that lifted look. Just gonna blend downwards here. It is getting darker and like a lot more gloomier as I'm filming this video, so just bear with me. I may turn on a light if necessary. Has anyone yet tried underpainting? I really want to try it, but I'm just so scared to mess up. I'll probably play around with it when I do before shower makeup. Let me know if you're planning to do it because I'm actually interested in giving it a try. Next, I'm going on to my favorite part, which is blush and highlight. I will firstly use my cream blushes and then go on to the powder. don't have a powder blush today, but possibly for the bronzer, I'll use a powder form for my contour. When I do contour for clean girl makeup, I don't go ham. I usually use bronzer, not cream contour or anything like that just to give a hollow look to my face and give it more definition than it already is. My face is pretty round and I like to make it a little more structured if you know what I mean. Okay, and so for my blush, I will use a cream blush by Rare Beauty. This one is one of my favorite ones. This is shade Happy. This is a mini version and it's just 
so cute, you guys. I love this blush. I adore it. It's just, it's so cute. Like, I love it so much. Look how adorable it is. I love the cream blush that Selena Gomez created. They are adorable. The packaging is to die for. And the consistency is gorgeous. I love this one especially because it gives off like a very nice glowy look right after. So I put some on my hand just to air it out a little and I'll dab it with my brush and start with my top cheekbones and then just bring it down like so over to the apples of my cheeks. Since I do have like a weird face I'll say, um, I do like to try to go down word like this just to hollow out my face a little more as you can see right there so this is a new trick that i've actually did um since i do have like more of a round face i do like to bring my blush over down here and it gives me a more structured face i think i mean to say weird i meant to say like it's just it gives definition but it's also brown so it's like hard to understand that's what i meant by we so i place it like this and bring it a little bit over to my forehead okay and then do the same on the other side just casually going downwards but mostly focusing on the cheekbone area okay so the blush is now done i'm going to go with my bronzer now actually before i go with my bronzer i want to go and set my foundation and my base i will be going with my warrior why do i pronounce it like that all the time it's laura mercy here powder and i'm gonna add in just a little bit onto the cap and take out my flat brush again and set my under eyes and then just bring it over down just to make sure that everything is all blended set and it's not moving anywhere and not going anywhere it's not a technique but it's just more of like a step that i added to my makeup routine just to make sure that everything is set i do have more of an oily skin so this helps to keep it all set in place when it comes to doing powders and using cream and liquid makeup products make sure that you use a setting powder and then you go with your powder products like eyeshadow or even powders like bronzer which i'm going to use blush and etc because the combination of those two might weird out the liquid and it kind of will look cakey or probably dry which you don't want to happen so make sure that you set it before you go with it right now i have a very nice base and i think it's because of that foundation like guys this is such a beautiful foundation the finish is amazing I just, i'm just obsessed i don't know what to say okay so for my bronzer i'll be using my good old charlotte tilbury this is a duo which is in a mini size I bought it to just give it a test drive and I've been, I've been pretty happy with it. I'm almost done with this one, but I'm still using the highlighter, the bronzer, as you can see, I like very much. So I'm just going to add in a little bit onto a brush and go uh, right underneath my cheekbone and just start like brushing it out like so. And then I will lightly go down over to my cheekbones to give it more of like a hollow look. So I'm mostly focused on here under my cheekbone and then blend it over under it so that it gives me more of like that natural sculpted face i don't like too much of a harsh line and then i'm just gonna add in a bronzer also on the jawline and i'll do the same thing on the other side so every face shape is different so if you have a more of like a round face like i do i would suggest going a little bit downward to the start of your lip or mouth like so just so that it gives you more like that hollow face and then um if you don't have like a round face i would say still go follow like the line of the tip or the ending of your nose and then follow the line of your mouth as well this is like the key factors what you should follow to fit your face best or just study your face a little more and actually it will actually help you perfect 
the look as well i'm gonna bring a little bronzer over to my forehead and the eyelid i don't want to go too ham on that okay so for the eyes i don't like to do too many products when it comes to clean girl makeup i do like to be very light on that but i do want to add a wing today when it comes to the eye makeup i don't like to do a lot of stuff but for today i think i'm gonna add a line so i will be using my nyx professionals let's have that youtube girl moment nyx professionals professional makeup epic ink eyeliner this is my good old favorite eyeliner this is the only thing that i use so I'm just going to use this to give me a little bit of a wink. I do have um, eyes that hide the line, so it took me a while to learn which type of eyeliner to do. So once I have my eyes open, my eyeliner disappears. So what I learned to do is do like, not a cat, but like more of a bat style. Let me show you. I start here on the where my are my eye starts creasing. I draw a line over to my eye, and as you can see, where it starts creasing, I'm gonna draw a little bit of a, like a little small triangle like that, and I connected the triangle over to my line. So and then I just go follow the triangle downward over to my to my eyelash line. But the fun part is that I don't like to go all the way down. I just like to underline in the middle. Um, because if I do add a line over to my whole line, it will close down in my eyes. So if you have a similar eye shape, I recommend not going fully down. As you can see, whenever I close my eyes, you could tell where the eyeliner cuts off this is where my cut crease starts and when i open my eyes you don't see that it looks like a wing line or a cat eye which i had a hard time understanding when i was studying my eyes so if you want a tutorial on how i do my eyeliner i could get that done too as you can see it is getting a little darker i don't know if i should turn on a light I'm just gonna have one light up. Now I'm gonna follow up with my L'Oreal Base Primer. This is what I usually use, as you could see. You could see it in every video that I do. And I do always recommend using Tarte Tubing Mascara. This is my favorite mascara. But I did still, I forget to order it, but I should order it possible. This is one of my favorites mascara, which I usually use because it does not stain my eyelids. I have oily eyelids, especially in the summer. You could see the cast of a mascara and I really hate that. So I try to use waterproof tubing mascaras that do not smudge and tubing mascaras will not smudge. I usually give it some time to dry, but I'm going to go with my Alma Cosmetics mascara right after, which is also fun. As a soap, I prefer not to wait to dry. You do need to give it like a couple of minutes to dry. It dries out too fast and it's hard to like move around and do something. I just love the effect of this mascara and in general how nice it looks. Okay, my eye part is done. I love it very much. I'm going to move on to my lips now. I will be using my favorite lip pencil which is by NYX New Beige. This is one of my favorite colors. I love to use it on the everyday basis. And as you saw, I actually filled in my lips with this pencil as well. I usually do that just because I love the color very much and I cannot find a lipstick that is similar to this color. Um, and then I would honestly just go with a blush or I have one lipstick here by Morphe. This is shade Peanut. This is a very pretty color. I love it a lot and it is very similar to this lip pencil. I'm just gonna tap it in and then finally i am a mac lip girl all the time i do not like glossy things on my lips um i just love this color she just looks so pretty okay you guys i want to finish off this makeup with adding a little bit of glow i'm going to be adding my favorite fluid sheer glow enhancer by armani this is one of my favorite colors i'm almost done with this one it's like halfway there it's done and i just want to add a few drops onto my hand 
and then take a brush just add it so i have already let my powders set in so it does not interfere with that whatsoever it's not going to move around i'm just adding another layer of glow enhancer this will just finish off and set the makeup in place and make it look very nice, hydrated, and glowy. I love doing this makeup look. And this makeup look in specifics, I could wear at a date night or in the office. So whatever you prefer. I actually love wearing this whenever I go out with my boyfriend. This is a very nice nice and glowy and very hydrated makeup look okay you guys so i'm finally done with this makeup look i think i have did a good job i'm actually running out to go out so what do you think about this makeup is it too much for a clean girl makeup or it's not this is definitely more of a glam clean girl makeup this is perfect for a date night maybe first date or going out in the park you could definitely wear this out anywhere you prefer i actually love this look so much because it is so versatile i hope you guys like this video and if you like to see more of me i do post daily on my instagram this is my handle follow me on there let's be friends i like to answer your comments comments here or on instagram or dms as well i try to check those as much as i can thank you so much i'm really thankful for growing this little community i cannot wait to learn more about you guys and learn more what you like to see i will be seeing you on my next video don't forget to subscribe and give a like i will see you on the next one goodbye